I'd like to say that banana plugs changed my life, but that might be a slight exaggeration. Uh, however, tonight I will talk you through some of the banana plugs that are out on the market so that you understand that whilst a banana plug does exactly the same thing, uh, they can all come in all shapes and sizes with a few little differences to each one. Let's go. For many, many years, I battled on using raw speaker cable with my stereo and hi-fi. And I traveled around the world and everywhere I went, I unplugged the, the, uh, the stereo and I undid the binding posts and I pulled out the wire and I arrived at the other end and I had to redo the end of the wire and I put it back into the binding post. And it doesn't exactly sound like hard work, but you know what, it's a real faff. And it's so much easier and cleaner to switch to banana plugs and be done with it. Banana plugs might all seem to do exactly the same thing, which is absolutely true. Uh, they do it in slightly different ways. So I thought it would be cool. Uh, the article that we've written on what we recommend as the best banana plugs, I'll link to below. Uh, but now I just thought we'd run through a few different pairs and explain the differences in each so that when you're looking, you're probably a little bit more informed on what you're looking for. So tonight we have a gold-plated range of goodies. Uh, we have a pair of Sewell, a pair of Nakamichi, and a couple of pairs of Mono Price. Now all of these are kind of best sellers, uh, especially in North America, but uh, a few of them obviously around the world. Nakamichi seems to get around. And they each deal with the wire slightly differently, which is why I've chosen these for you to look at. There's quite a few basic but very cool things about banana plugs. The first is obviously convenience. And even if you're thinking, but I only plug my stereo in and my speakers in, and then I don't really touch it. So I, you know, screw up my my terminals and poles and, and then I'm, I'm done, I don't touch it. Even if you only do that every few years, there's something amazingly satisfying about just reaching around the back of all your units and unplugging the banana plugs. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just worth it for that, honestly. Another reason is that obviously you wanna reduce the risk, any risk of any of these wires becoming loose. Even one little stray wire reaching over and touching another pole creating a connection there. Banana plugs obviously isolate that experience altogether. Some people believe that uh, the oils on your skin, if you're constantly touching the naked uh, wire, speaker wire, is not good for the wire as well, getting those oils off. The challenge with speaker wire is really oxidization and uh, what uh, banana and you know you've got media br bridge you've got Sewell, you've got a stair out there again all on the list which i'll link to below what they're trying to do in part is kind of reduce as much oxidization as possible so trying to create um, really good seals between wire and terminal inside the banana plug that will be less exposed to the risks of oxidization um, no they're not sealed airtight you know completely but you've got a better chance uh, with these in my opinion than without. And one of the final things I think they do that's really, really great is they reduce that wear and tear uh, on your units because yeah, it's not a bad, you know, you gotta unscrew it, you take the wire out, you put the wire in, you screw it back up. But there is something just a lot easier that feels a lot nicer on your units just to, to you know, plug that in and then unplug it and you're done. So banana plugs, literally you've got, for example, let's say we're gonna go into these, you've got your red and your black, your red goes in there, nice, maybe create a little separation of the wire, and that's it. And let's say I want to suddenly switch amp, speakers, or anything very quickly. Plug and done for the lazy hi-fi, perfect choice. Obviously, you don't need a wire stripping tool to do this, you know, for years. Uh, I just did it with a pair of scissors gently, rotate it around and then pop the top off. You could do it with a knife, although you've got to have some skills there because you might end up taking out some of the, uh, the fine wires. So let's uh, stop talking about uh, them in general and then let's have a look around some of these models. So maybe if you're looking at getting some, uh, this might help you choose. So on the left here, we've got the Sewell units. Uh, so these have a, uh, a red and black marking on them to 
to help you identify left and right. So you make sure you get your speakers in phase. And if you need to learn about um, phasing in speakers, then that would be in another video. Uh, but just make sure that your red goes to your red terminal and your black goes to black. And it's the same on your speaker and you're all good. So with these ones, these unscrew. From the top, simple screw top. And then hopefully you can see at the top there, there's kind of some little teeth on it. So the speaker wire comes through the back there, pops out the top, and then you splay the wires down over those points, and then you put this on and you screw it up. Now in doing that, you're creating a very good seal between the unit. You're turning the wire away from where it naturally goes, so if someone does accidentally pull on that cable, it's very unlikely that the wire is gonna fold up and pop out as easily as that. And also this is obviously pressing down to create that seal, reduce that um, exposure in regards to oxidization. So that's the Sewell unit. The second pair which is prevalent on the market is the Nakamichi. Now the Nakamichi um, kind of have a screw top on them, which means that the top comes off in reverse. So I'll undo that and you can kind of pop it because there's a bit of flex on the end of the banana plug. Boop, like that. Now these are a two screw unit. So as you can see, as I rotate it, you can see there's a little screw on that side and a little screw lower down on the other side. So with these ones, you'd take a very small screwdriver, like this handy dandy pair. You would unscrew each of these probably about couple of mil, not much more. And then that opens up a cavity in the back of the banana plug where you would obviously put in speaker wire and then screw down the two screws to create a very fixed connection. Uh, these are a very popular unit uh, because of the twin screw nature of them. A lot of people like them and trust them. Um, are they better than any of the other ones? I'll let you decide. I just want to show you around a few of them so that you understand what they look like. Mono price. So I have two mono price. Some of you are thinking, why didn't you have some Media Bridge? Well, I, I was going to buy some Media Bridge to show you, but they came in packs of 24 and I don't need a pack of 24. So we'll have a look at the mono price, which are also an incredibly uh, good selling unit. Now, this one is an open back screw type. Now, I quite like these and they're very simple to work with. Now, who would these suit? These would suit, here we go, you just unscrew the end and it's like the middle opens up. Hopefully that's clear enough for you. You feed the wire into here, much like a speaker pole uh, terminal. You just screw it up and then that presses against the wire to seal it up. So that's an open back unit, which, you know, an open screw, open back unit. And so you're kind of saying to me, well, that's no different to a speaker pole in terms of those straight wires and things. Well, you're absolutely right. And what these are quite popular for is people that actually daisy chain their banana plugs. Now, I'm not a DJ, but I'm told that DJs do do it. Uh, and that is to obviously run a couple of wires in succession, daisy chain them up. So an open back like that, that you can simply unscrew, very great you know, huge cavity in that. Like, I don't know what, you could fit a ridiculous, I mean, there's no speaker wire that fat that I can think of for uh, consumer use. Uh, and so that is the mono price open back screw type. The next one is the mono price closed screw back, I guess you could call it. So these units are completely closed and they run on the same premise that the speaker wire goes up the back. So if I hold this one up, as I unscrew it, you can see most of that top bit comes off and you're left with the bottom bit. And this is pretty much, or very similar to the Sewell or the, uh, the Monoprice that I keep referring to, uh, sorry, the uh, Media Bridge I keep referring to. So the speaker cable goes through there, comes up, you fold it back down over itself and then you screw it up like that. 
and that creates an excellent seal. Again, trying to reduce the amount of oxidization by reducing the exposure of the wire to the air. So that's four examples of some banana plugs that are on the market now. Are there any other types? Yes, there are. So there's a couple of uh, companies that have come out with a few different ones. These are all gold plated. Um, if you want to go a little bit more high end, again, we'll link below to these, but the austere range are probably four times the price of these, lot, lot, lots more gold. Um, but a couple of people have come out with a um, really uh, a, a snap lock um, design where you, similar to, to these, you would unscrew the, the top a little bit, you would put the speaker wire in, but instead of having to splay the speaker wire over backwards, you would then just lock that up again and then that would secure against the wire. Now that might, a lot of people are saying, well, that might not have as, as good, you know, like what if you really pull on that speaker wire, it might come out like, because you haven't really you know, bent wires, you haven't double fixed screws, but it's, it's not rocket science. As long as it creates a very good seal against that wire, uh, and you're not, you know, pulling on your speaker wires by accident or it's in a, you know, low traffic zone. I think those would be absolutely fine for the typical at-home audiophile. But again, any of these are going to do what you need. It's whether you want to go high end and spend more on a little bit more gold. Uh, you can go the cheaper end where you're going to end up with a nice brass core um, with a gold plating um, tip on them which is fine as well. Hopefully that's been helpful if you're looking at banana plugs to understand some of the models that are out there. Uh, if it was helpful, obviously like and subscribe. Uh, enter any comments below if you'd like to have a chat about any of this. And I would obviously love to hear about any units that you guys are using which uh, you think are the bee's knees. Uh, I, I challenge any audiophile to um, listen to these over um, an incredibly expensive pair and tell me they can hear the difference. but. Uh, I'm probably poking the bear with comments like that, so that'll be enough for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.